what makes this man tick the way he does? The way he plays, his style, is so unorthodox. Nothing like anyone has ever seen before. Nothing. Especially me. Never seen nothing like that before in my life. When I first saw Eddie Van Halen on MTV, I was blown away. I was 14 years old. Saw the video jump on MTV. When I was 16, on Christmas Eve, I got my first guitar. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to play. I didn't know anything. I just knew that I wanted to be like Eddie Van Halen, if at all possible. <laughs> Easier said than done. something about somebody wikipedia is the place to go eddie van halen edward ludwig van halen <laughs> i guess i said that right born 1955 yeah uh here's a shot of him on 2007 or in 2007 that's when they got back with dave yeah pretty wild and here's an early shot that's 1977 how cool is that talk about just different from anybody else. I mean, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. His playing style is crazy, man. Let's see. It says the uh, Sammy Hagar era, era. Excuse me. I don't know why I said area. Sammy Hagar era. Gary Sharon era, I was not crazy about. I just, that album didn't do nothing for me. Uh, what was it? I got the... Um, there was one song on there called "Without You" that I that I liked. It was that was pretty good, and I liked that. What is this? Van Halen, 2007, November. Oh yeah, yeah. That made a lot of money, in my opinion. I mean, it made a lot of money. It was cool, but it just I don't know. It just wasn't the same. I didn't go see none of those shows. I just I don't know. Eh, I got the live album live from Tokyo though. Pretty cool. Yeah, I've, uh, I had a couple people ask me about my license plate, and there it is. Van Halen, California, August 1983. Ah, very cool. All right, guys. If you're a Van Halen fan such as myself, or like myself, or a huge fan, I suggest getting this book, Van Halen Rising by Greg Renoff unbelievable outstanding book uh there's a few things on here that uh are in here rather that i did not know uh one cool thing is greg was kind enough to sign this for me to autograph it to joe aka guitar man rock on all my best wow but one thing that i read and i'm going to say something 
this in this book so it's not you know it's not me making up something you know kind of fictitious thing or nothing this it's in this book i have you know of course this and have the audio version of this book and i've listened to it about i don't know three times and this book primarily focuses on van halen's early start you know right when they him and his brother eddie and alex got together and started doing their thing they got dave into the band and this focuses on the first album you know when they recorded the first album went on their first tour uh all that stuff you know right before they blew up and got signed and exploded and all the guitar players were coming to uh, i guess dave's father's house dr ross house at the time when they were practicing and guitar players actually had their ear to the door listening to eddie trying to figure out what he was doing on guitar which nobody knew at the time. So what is this guy doing? But something about this book that really blew my mind was that uh, it says in here that there's a gentleman by the name of Terry Kilgore that introduced the tapping technique to Edward. Uh, that's what it says in the book. Um... There's the original bass player. Uh, yeah, Mark Stone. He was the original bassist. And then, uh, you know, he had to knuckle, uh, buckle down, knuckle down, whatever, on his schoolwork. And he, he wanted his schoolwork was a more of a priority, according to what I heard. And so they told him he could go. <laughs> he knew Van Halen was big, but I don't think he knew there was going to be that big. But, yeah. Anyway... Terry Kilgore, it says in this book that he introduced the tapping technique to Edward. Very, very interesting because I've never heard of Terry Kilgore's name before until this book. And I've always heard Eddie say that he got the idea when he went to see Led Zeppelin and Jimmy Page was doing the pull-offs and all that stuff. Now, I'm not knocking anything. That's what the man says. That's what the man says. I respect Edward Van Halen as a person, as a guitarist. I'm just wondering why this has never been brought up by anybody about Terry Kilgore introducing the tapping technique to Eddie. It's in this book. I'm not making it up. So, I don't know. Either way, it is what it is now. Uh, I mean, it's Van Halen, man. I mean, you know, you just, I still love Eddie. I always will, always have. And his playing style is just unbelievable. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Since Hendrix, there has been nobody that, had cha that has changed the way guitar is played as far as rock guitar. Nobody has done that until Eddie came along. After Hendrix... You know, you had Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page, all these other cool cats, Eric Clapton, highly respected by me. But as far as changing the game, that's Eddie. Eddie done that. Nobody else since or probably ever will change the way that guitar is played like Eddie Van Halen. As people may or may not know, I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, born and raised but there was a store on Independence Boulevard. This was back in the early 90s. It was called Rock and Roll Emporium. And they had so many cool things to do with rock and roll. They had, you know, the style was a lot different back then. They had the clothes and all that stuff. But I remember finding this comic book. It's a Van Halen comic book. And I had it, God, it was so long ago. And I, it got lost somewhere. I can't remember. I lost it years ago. So I went on eBay and found another one. This one is sealed. As you can probably tell, the plastic, you can see some of it's kind of shriveled there. And um, just thought I'd keep it. Thought it was pretty cool. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for me. This is the end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. If you watched, if you are a new viewer, I would hope that you would subscribe. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch these videos on my channel. As you just saw, I'm a huge Van Halen fan. Uh, Star Wars, you know, guitars, classic rock, all that stuff. 
I try to share a piece of my life with you every day with these daily vlogs. And uh, I appreciate people watching in the kind comments. That is just awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody is so kind. Uh, look in the links below to find out more about me and t-shirts if you're interested. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Be safe. See you on the other side. This is Joe for the Joe Wentz Project. Peace out.